Hi, so I'm Shannon Coakley. I'm in eighth grade, and what do you do here? I am a director of photography for lighting at Pixar Animation Studios, which means I direct the lighting for our films. What types of projects have you worked on here at Pixar? My first movie was A Bug's Life, and I got to do just the tiniest bit of lighting on that film, and I fell in love with being in the finishing department that creates the final image from all this hard work everyone's done, and then you put the lights in and it comes to life. And I got to work on Toy Story 2 and Monsters Incorporated. In Monsters Incorporated, I got to build some of the background characters and some of the stuff that was in the, the factory and all this, all kinds of things like that. That was really fun. And then I did lighting on that one, too. How do you, like, do the lighting? When we're making the movies, we set up this whole, we build a whole world inside the computers. Mm -hmm. And then when we're, say we had a scene at sunset, I actually have an option in my software that says add new light. And I add a new light and I have an icon of the light um, in that world and I would position it maybe at the horizon and color it orange and have purplish blue light coming down from the sky. It's sort of this balancing act between stylizing things and storytelling and setting the mood but keeping it so it's believable so the audience is just immersed in the world. Do you have any stories from earlier in your life that helped you decide that you wanted to do engineering? Yeah, I think when I was in eighth grade, I took this shop class that was um, called Power Mechanics, all about um, you take apart a broken lawnmower, you put it back together with the idea at the end, the lawnmower works. So I took that class, but I was the only girl in the class, but I loved that class. And so at the end of the semester, you've fi in theory, you've finished your lawnmower. I think some of the guys in the class had just sort of piled things together and put some screws in and rolled mm -hmm. it out. And so we roll our lawnmowers out at the end of the semester, and it just so happens I'm sort of at the end of the line, and the teacher's filling up the lawnmowers with gas, because they were gas lawnmowers. And I'm just watching everybody pulling on the cords, and nothing's happening. And then he got to mine and filled it up, and I pulled the cord, and it came to life mm -hmm. immediately. And so it was this thing where it was really fun, and I had success, and I was the only girl in the class, and I had succeeded where others hadn't. It just sort of reinforced my love of, of putting things together and figuring out how pieces work together, kind of, so. Was there any other careers that you thought that you would have other than engineering? When I was maybe eight years old, someone, some adult asked me what I wanted to do for a living, and I said, I want to be an artist. And the adult said, no, you don't want to be that. You can't make any money doing that. So it was pretty exciting when I was later in life, I don't, probably just a couple years ago, and I thought, I am an artist. I got to be an artist. I'm like an engineer and an artist, so that was a good moment. And why do you think coding is so awesome to do? If you know code, it opens up everything to you. Um, instead of you pick a profession and you're, you feel like you're sort of shutting things down, it's kind of opening up this whole world. Mm -hmm. Are there any Pixar characters that are like role models for you? Merida is a great one just because I love her spirit and how she sort of attacks things and her faith in herself. And I also love Wally because Wally finds beauty in these crazy things and he has such a big heart that I love him too. So I think those two characters are really two of my favorites. What advice would you give to the girl pr wanting to pursue a career in engineering? So you have to have a natural curiosity and take lots of classes. Make sure it's the stuff that interests you whenever you can. So I was doing computer science but I thought animation was really cool so I took an animation class to the art department which clearly worked out great. Now I'm working at Pixar and I'm using my engineering and my art. But also when you find that thing you're passionate about, it sort of makes any other challenges surpassable. You can fight through them because you've found the thing that you love. So I think that that's really the important thing is finding the things that you love. And then you're actually one of my role models. Can I please have a hug? You can absolutely <laughs> have a hug. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that was awesome.